Welcome, I am Cassie Betker, Director of Youth Ministries here at Forest Hills, bringing you your devotional for today. But before we jump in, let's work on that memory verse from this past week. It's Matthew 5, 4. It says, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Do you have a hard time throwing things away, like shoes? I do. This week, I have been trying to find new winter boots, but I don't necessarily want to give up my old ones that have been broken for over two years, but they're comfortable and they fit, and trying to find that new pair is just so hard. For some of us, getting rid of our past, the things that are comfortable, that we're used to, is hard. Like me with those boots, getting rid of our past can be just as hard. The past is where we used to live and where our memories reside. But our scripture today reminds us that while we remember and even treasure the past, when we become a follower of Christ, we have a new identity in him. Paul reminds the Christians that Jesus' resurrection changed everything. Because Christ was raised, those who believed in him have a new life, a new identity. He writes in Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2, Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Paul urges his followers to set their hearts and minds on things above and not on earthly desires and passions. He goes on to state in verse 3, For you have died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Paul obviously is not referring to physical death in verse 3 when he states you died, but rather the fact that they have put their old life and former ways behind them. Their new life is now concealed or hidden with Christ. Paul repeats this truth in verse 4 by stating that when Christ appears, believers also appear with him in glory, which is only possible by being found in him. He goes on in verse 5, he says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, greed, which is idolatry. The active imperative Paul stresses is put to death, anything and everything that belongs to worldly ways. We will finish with verse 10 here. Put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator, Because of their new identity in Christ, believers are to abandon their old lives and be renewed into the image and likeness of God, our creator. Holding on to the past is easy. Like those old boots that are cheap and worn out and broken. Sometimes we hold on to those broken pieces, but living with Christ is so much better. And we just don't realize it until we've shed those old things. So what are some old ways of living that have either crept back into your life or have been hiding from sight and need to be renewed? Even though it is hard to fully get rid of the past, our new identity in Christ is so worth it. Let's end in prayer. Father God, we thank you for the new identity that comes in believing in you. The past testifies to your work in our lives reminding us of what you have delivered us from. Father, help us to move forward in our righteousness, looking back only to praise you. Father, as this new year starts, help us to be excited and hopeful for the new you, that new that you provide in us, Lord. Help us see the passions and the wisdom and the purpose you have for us. Help us to shed those old things so we are completely open and empty and ready for what you have to put there. We ask this all in your name. Amen. Well, until we see you again online, keep calm and carry God.